Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. This is part one of a three-part video series where I would like to walk you through the installation process of Atrium SSO and BMC Atrium Orchestrator. This video series will focus on the silent installation on Linux platform and will be covering the complete installation process. The video series will basically help you to quickly have a running Atrium Orchestrator instance with the minimum required components. Let's get started. At first, let's look at some of the prerequisites. BMC recommends that the user who is performing the installation is a root or a user with root permissions. However, for some reason, if you have to execute the installer as a non-root user, make sure the user has the permission to execute the LSP release and the DMI decode command. On Linux servers, make sure the entropy level is always above 3000. And lastly, make sure to download and copy the following installer files from the BMC product download page to the desired installation server. By the end of this video series, we'll set up a working BAO7801 environment and we'll be covering the installation of Atrium SSO, Repository, CDP, and BAO Content 2015-03. If you notice, we'll not be installing the BAO Development Studio here as the Dev Studio is not available for Unix-based systems. You will need to have a Windows machine to install a copy of the Developer Studio. Now let's get started with the demo. In order to install Atrium SSO and BAO on Linux environment, we need to create the option files. These option files are passed as an argument to the silent installation command. So, at first, navigate to this URL. Scroll down and locate the section with the sample file to install Atrium SSO. You need to copy the content of the sample file and paste it in a notepad. I have already copied the sample file and modified it using the server details on which I'll be installing Atrium SSO. Let's briefly go over the important parameters. This is the location on the server where Atrium SSO will be installed. This is the shutdown port. This is the HTTP Tomcat port. This will install Atrium SSO in a new Tomcat instance. 8443 will be the default HTTPS port. This is the encrypted password which I have encrypted using the maintenance tool. This is basically the admin123 password. This is the domain and this is the server name on which SSO will be installed. The option file for Atrium SSO is now ready. Let's go back to the web browser. Navigate over to this link and scroll down. This page contains the sample option files for all the BAO components. This is the sample file for the repository. And this one is for the CDP. Copy these sample files and paste it in a notepad. I have already copied the sample file and modified it as per the server details on which I'll be installing the repository and CDP. Let's go over the content of the file. This first entry controls the location where the repository will be installed. We are installing a new instance of the repository. As you can see, this parameter controls whether to start the service after the installation. This is our Atrium SSO host name. This is the SSO port. This is the protocol of our Atrium SSO server. This is the repository startup port and shutdown port. Our repository will use the HTTPS protocol. This is the host name of the repository server and this will be the URL. Lastly, this is the SSO admin password. Now let's take a look at the CDP option file. Again, this parameter controls the location where your CDP will be installed. This is a fresh install of the CDP. We want to start the service after the installation. This is my startup port for CDP and this one is the shutdown port. I'll install CDP on HTTPS protocol. This will be the primary instance. I have provided a name to my environment as BAO environment. My grid will be the name of the grid that I'll be installing. The grid type will be dev and the logging level will be debug. This is the name of the CDP. 
I have provided the third principle as BMC software and the password as admin123. This will be the port used by the peer communication. On this machine, I have the repository installed. This is the repository protocol and this is the repository port. This is my SSO admin name along with the password. We want our service to start after installation. This is the host machine on which the CDP will be installed and this one is the CDP URL. Lastly, we need to prepare the sample file for the content installation. Navigate over to this link and scroll down. Copy the sample file content and paste it in a notepad. This is my sample option file for the content. Let's quickly go over it. This is the location where I'll be installing the content. I want to install all the content pack. The install type will be custom. This is my repository protocol. And on this machine, I'll be installing the repository. 9080 is my repository book. And this will be my AO admin username and password. Now, once all the sample files are ready, copy them along with the installers onto the installation server. 